This is chapter five, set C number two. It tells us that we have a specific class that took the LSAT and we have an average of 160 and an SC of eight. It also tells us about like overall test takers, but that was just kind of superfluous data. You didn't really need to know that. But for our class, we have our average in SD and it says what percentage scored below a 166. So first of all, you should always be drawing these pictures, trying to figure out what's going to be logical. So you should always be centered at the average. So we should be centered at 160. We want to know what percentage scored below 166. So here's 166 and we're looking for the percentage below. That would be the area to the left. Okay. Notice because I did draw it to the right of 160, I should be looking for an answer of more than 50%. That would just kind of be logical there. First step is always to find your z value. Our z value is always going to be equal to our x minus our average over our standard deviation. So in our case, we're interested in the number 166. That's our x. We want to minus the average, which is 160, and divide by the standard deviation of 8. So putting this into my calculator, make sure you have to do parentheses around the top or it's not going to work. So 166 minus 160 with parentheses around the top divided by 8 and you should get about 0.75. So if I was to redraw this for my z, here is z equals 0.75 and I'm still looking for the area to the left. So I pull up my normal table and I look for z equals 0.75. And it looks like my area to the left is going to be 77.34%. So this area is 77.34%. So 77.34% scored below 166. And that would be my answer there. Notice the textbook usually rounds a lot. They round to like 77%. I don't round that much. Either way, though, on the exam, I will make sure that 77.34% is right. 77% would also be right. I try and keep it close enough that you'd be okay no matter how you round. Okay, part B is framed a little differently. It says one student was 0.5 SDs above the average. So what percent of the scores are going to be lower than him. Now this 0.5 SD is above average, that's kind of weird. Like you might wonder, why didn't they just tell me what his score is? But it's okay, because if you remember, your Z value tells you, I'm sorry, Z value always tells you how many SDs above the average. That's the definition of your Z score, if you remember that. So if your z-score tells you how many SDs you are above the average and they say you're 0.5 SDs above the average, that means z equals 0.5. So they just kind of skipped the first step of making you find z and went straight to telling you what z is, which is unusual, but we can do it. Um, let's see, so we have z equals 0.5 and we still want to know what percent of the scores are going to be lower, so we're going to be shading to the left. Now we go back to that normal table again. And we're looking for z equals 0.5, which looks like it's about 69.15%. And so that's the percentage of scores that were lower.